there are certain strong character traits we might have. There are certain things that are, we have a line, a must have. Everyone has that. We might not say it. A must have. There are some people, if you don't get affirmation, you don't get someone talking to you in a certain way all the time, you'll be miserable. So when you are courting someone or you are talking to someone and you see that this person, that probability will be zero. Then you start weighing the options. I'm, it, it, yeah. You think, I mean, those who are married can understand what I'm saying. Or, yeah. Otherwise, but you see, some people, it will hurt most women if the man doesn't have time for them. But some people, it's, that, that, that indices is too high that it, it will hurt them too much. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Because that is the number one or two thing. So if you see that this person is not like that, then you have to discuss it. But the unfortunate difficulty too is sometimes is that the four hours, you will think that that is the case. That's why you have to pray. Because you assume that that is a tick yeah. when it's not. It's a mist. There are certain compatibility. That is a big thing. It's, it's beyond the scope of this discussion. The love language, everyone has a love language. Yeah. And my love language is different from, let's assume it's Clara, come. My love language and Clara's love language might be different. If my love language is for a man, let's assume my love language is, look, be nice to me, smile at me, show me plenty sex. That's my love language. Don't shout me down, I'm preaching good. That's my love language. Don't fight it. Plenty regular sex, exciting sex. Pleasurable, exciting. You are creative. You, you are spontaneous. That, that, that is my love language. That is it. Don't wrestle me down because it's my love language. But the fact that an, another person's love language might be reaffirmation. Another person's love language might be gifts. But maybe hers might be just have 30 minutes with me. And look at me in the eyes. And say, my beautiful wife. That is her love language. But many mis people make the mistake of saying that. <laughs> well, uh, come and see. Hurry up, hurry up. Were you created or you were crafted? <laughs> when I saw you sitting down, my heart moved from the left to the right. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, are you listening? Okay, now... Is it? So, this might be her love language, but the mistake people make is that they project their love language to the other, and then they say to themselves that, if this is my love language, then it must be yours. So, I will love you the way I want to love you. 
that does nothing for anybody. But love her the way she wants to be loved, as her love language, and she must love me the way, or him the way he wants to be loved. That's the love language. So those things must be talked about before. Sometimes it's too late. But, <laughs> but even if it's too late, thank God that God is a God who can fix things. Okay. So that is an important thing. And there are certain people, if their love language are not met, their ranks. And there's a lot of disappointment. But when you, have, you love the person so much, you'll be, be prepared to sacrifice for that person. And that is the same way. Maybe we are not typically prone to doing certain things. But if we love God, we would be prepared to sacrifice to do those particular things for God. I want to put your hands together for Jesus. And this is just a, a, a very narrow general. It's, it's, it's bigger than what I'm saying. It's just a very general thing. But all I'm saying is that just don't choose lightly. Just don't choose. Wow, nice. The guy has muscles. This a muscle. <clears throat> He's, he's, he's a muscle guy. I'm looking for a tall guy. I see a tall guy. He has muscles, six pack. Even when he walks. No, the way he walks, I must get him. No. With a khaki. No, no, that, that, that's, they don't do that. And one thing, as I've talked to different people, <clears throat> Even recently, I was dealing with somebody. One thing that plagues many women is the fear that who is going to marry me if I leave this one? Even though it's not going to work, you know it. Who? And some people, there, there are some people who, there's someone who also was looking at different signs and seeing that this must be the person. Meanwhile, they don't really like the person. But because of the signs, they see that, no, it must be the person. Do you understand? Stop that. Don't say that <clears throat> the person's name flashes in it as I'm moving the car, the car in front of me, the person's name is there. I'm there, I look at the signboard, then the person's name is that. Don't be a fool in that. The crossroads. Stop. Don't do that. Stop that. Stop that. No. Stop that. Don't, don't, don't worry about signs. God is giving me a sign. That this person said this. That person said before he realized and then he came. So it means he's the one. Stop it. Stop it. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Stop it. <laughs> I saw the name in a dream. And then I woke up, and then the first number plate was the person's name, and then can you believe that I was introduced to him? Stop it, please. Stop. Stop that. Stop it. It's not always the case. Do you not also know that it's not only God who gives, the devil also can give you something, or the devil can also present something to set you up. It's not always God. Don't, don't always assume that God is in everything that is being done or presented to you. No, it's not always the case. And this is a lifelong thing. It's not always the case. Very important. It's not always that it's God who is presenting it. Sometimes, you see, those who are married, it's your portion. Full stop. <laughs> Live in it, enjoy it, be happy in it. That is your portion. That is your portion. And be happy in it. Enjoy it. Carry it. 
take up your cross and follow Jesus. <laughs> but God can make it beautiful. There are some people, they get married, change their mind, but they get married. And then, oh man, I didn't see her. I didn't see her. I, I backed the wrong horse. Oh man, this is the one. I should have waited. No. <laughs> It's too late. It's too late. No. <laughs> the pain has taken. <laughs> oh man. The plane, the door is shut. <laughs> there's no there's no stop in the air. It's finished. <laughs> but that, that, that can happen yeah. but if that happens the fact that God has allowed it to just yeah but that happens or you have not you don't know that that happens <laughs> <Sir? laughs> <laughs> the door is shut <laughs> And it's in the air. Too late. But you see, many people, but so, forget about that, but those who are yet to marry, it's a different story. The plane has not taken off yet. <laughs> you still can change your mind. <laughs> you can get a real. <laughs> You can get a refund for your ticket. <laughs> ah. oh, so far as the door has not been closed and the plane taken off, you can get, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So the single people, <laughs> the single people can take their time. <clears throat> Don't be too fixed on somebody. Yes. Don't be fixed on, I must marry Jackson Joe. I must marry Jackson Joe, according to who? Imagine. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. It's a long road, marriage. The flight is so long. <laughs> no flight. Don't do that. <laughs> How many are getting what I'm saying? So choose wisely be careful because the divorce there is plain to you even in the church plain to you. it's so much that bishop is thinking of extending the marriage counseling time the plenty divorce church play oh, is normal even mega church pastors divorcing plain is normal please plenty It's, it's, it's like breaking a car loan payment. It's easy. <laughs> you just sign it. It was very easy. Yes. <clears throat> but you see, it's very wild though, because if we are not prepared to sacrifice, sometimes we become very terrible sp spouses, if it is correct. <clears throat> Do you agree? A spouse can become a very painful, bitter pill. You see, I'm not making marriage like it's some, I'm just saying that 
some spouses can when become a very <laughs> bitter. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not every one of them. It's not every one of them. It's not every one of them. But, but are you listening? It's not every one of them, but a, a spouse can become a very bitter pill, a thorn in the flesh, if that spouse is not prepared to sacrifice, or both are not prepared to sacrifice. In the same way, you can become like wild grapes to God, who has poured so much into you, if you are not prepared to sacrifice. Not just sacrifice for the work, but sacrifice in terms of your character, to work on your character, to work on yourself, to build yourself up. We need to work on ourselves. And if you are not prepared to sacrifice, you can become a bitter pill. And sometimes, you see, I've also realized that a, 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 a terrible spouse for person A could be a fantastic spouse for person B. Oh, yeah. It is 100% true. <clears throat> you can have a wife who, Bishop was talking about a wife who, you want to have sex or you want to make love, no problem. Spin the wheel. Whew. Oh, yeah. And if it lands on a certain part, tonight. If it does not land on it, too bad. No, this is a true story. If it's your birthday, two attempts. Once a year, two attempts. <clears throat> but are you listening? Now, this particular wife who will be doing that would be a gymnast and a fantastic acrobat in the bedroom for another man because she loves that man and is drawn more to that person. So make sure that you can be an acrobat to who you are going to marry. What do you think? Yeah. Because I've, I've also seen that people are not really bad. It's just that they find themselves sometimes trapped in a situation. But it doesn't mean that it's acceptable. We are not condoning things. But what the, the thing is that if you know it, then you can just say that, oh, this is a thing. Then do something about it because the plane has taken off. <laughs> but we are talking about those who are not yet in. In fact, this is for them. Because you are not getting your body in pass. The plane, the door has not been closed. <laughs> Have you not been in a plane and you want to get down? If you had a chance, you get down. Because you've realized and they shut the door. <laughs> <Too late>. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you see what I'm saying? You can have that same wife who would rather be the initiator. Yeah, and that is because of what is happening. That's why we can't judge everything before the time, but still God wants us to stick in it. To stick in it. Am I preaching? To stick in it. In spite of what is happening. That is also a sacrifice <clears throat> for God. Because if there is no sac, if this, if I were, God forbid, but maybe I was in a particular situation and I'm not desiring to please God. Oh, David Saki. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> but because I'm trying to sacrifice for God, that can happen. That, that's the reality. Other, the, why do you think the older people? were sticking in, in, the, in, uh, in, in, uh, uh, in their marriages. But nowadays, people are not prepared to stick uh, uh, in it. It's because they're not prepared to sacrifice to just stay in because of God. 
So you can have two people who are together, who are in a tough situation, but are just sticking it out, just for Christ's sake.